The future is here. Dolly 3 can create infographics. Look at these infographics. Come on. This is an infographic of the ocean depth. Look at this. It's another one. That's another one. Look at this one. It's got the depth ruler on the right hand side. That's absolutely crazy to me. So to check if you have access to Dolly 3, open up chat GPT, hit new chat, and you gotta hover over GPT-4. So scroll down and you'll see this option, Dolly 3 Beta. So I now have access to this. I don't have access to GPT Vision, so I guess choose your poison. Well, I get Dolly 3. So I'm gonna click Dolly 3 here, and now let's make some infographics. Before, this wasn't possible with something like Midjourney because Midjourney can't do text, but Dolly 3 can. So let's go ahead and generate an infographic. Create me an infographic about climate change. And now we're gonna give it a bit to load. And the thing with Dolly 3, what it does is it takes your little prompt and it spits out a GPT-4 type prompt for Dolly 3. So if you take a look at these, this is your little prompt, but it's so much more words, so much more detail. Photo infographics showing a split screen on the left, a lush green forest with clear blue skies, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see what it spits out here. It's gonna just take a second. Okay, look what we got here. Look at this, so forest, and then we got factories and pollution on the other side with like a graph in the middle. Oh my gosh. It's another one, it's a, it's a crying world because it's sweating because it's getting so hot. You got the human impact. Let's see, some of these words are correct. Look at this, natural balance, human impact. This one's pretty good to go. This one over here, look at nature cycle industrial impact so it should be industrial there's some mistakes hope to he future so close hope to the future and let's see this last one here this one's more just like a bunch of images i don't really like this one this is the kind of things that i'm looking for is these first three. Oh, this one is so nice so cool so yeah we're pretty close it's making some mistakes but Man, any day now, this AI is gonna be able to create anything that you can possibly imagine. We're so close, as you can see. I don't know, let's try something again. Let's do, create an infographic about US politics. So let's see what it goes here. Well, Dolly 3 is nerfed. Look at this, I cannot create images of politicians. I didn't ask for that, let's try it again. Create an infographic about US politics in the 2000s how about that all right that seemed to work okay it's writing some prompts here okay it's right let's take a look oh my gosh look at the detail on this so 200s not 2000s 200s very close so if i really like this see this is it's kind of tough because like the words are so small to edit but if i really like this, this design you could either send this to a freelancer or an upwork freelancer.ca fiverr and say like create something very similar to this i like this style or you know just drop this into your favorite photo editing software something like maybe a canva and just replace the text here to the 2000s kind of zoom in and try to replace all the text make like little squares and stuff so it is possible legislatively man they're so close government oh it's close Oh, this is a really good one here. It's about voting in US politics. I love this with the ballots. These are great templates. I can't believe the detail in this. This is, uh, this, this could work too on a certain thing. So let's try one more example. Let's go something like create me an infographic American football. And, you know, I want to see if you can do a different aspect ratio. This seems to be kind of the 16 by 9. Can I make the long ones that some infographics do? So let's do uh, with an aspect ratio of 916. So it's going to be longer, taller height wise than it is wider. So let's see what Dolly 3 spits out. Anatomy of American football game. This one's going to be the scoring system of American football. That's going to be interesting. And it looks like the prompts have been in this kind of tall aspect. Does that mean it's going to shoot out the image in this size? Let's see. Yeah, it did pretty good. This is what I was looking for. Look at this. America football. I'm going to download this so that we can zoom in further. Okay, this is a down. So it's not, yeah, the spelling's wrong. We're, we keep seeing a common theme that the words are not always right. But look at the detail and the zooming all the way in. Look at all the players on the field. I can't believe an AI just generated this. This is so crazy. Scrolling down, we got a bunch of 
Yeah, there's I don't know what these are on the jerseys. This one works, the t the double zeros, but that looks like Egyptian letters. So it's looking like it can't shoot out full infographics yet, but it can get pretty close for kind of like a template and a design. So I'm liking it. Let's see the other ones. Same. This is about the equipment. It looks like. Oh, this is so cool. This kind of looks like the first one, just in a different kind of aspect ratio. And this one seems to be cut off at the bottom. So this one was going to be a really long infographic. I wonder if you can get even longer, but. Okay, we kind of see its limitations, Dolly 3, but I think we can all agree that this is pretty fascinating at the state it's in right now. Like it's still beta. We're so close. I feel like we're months away from just being able to generate anything. And I thought, you know, what could you do with these type of infographics, right? So I asked ChatGPT and let's see the ideas that it gave us. So it says there are several things that we can do with it. We can submit our infographics as stock images and earn a royalty on sites like Shutterstock or Getty Images. We can go to freelance platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, and we can offer our services as info infographic designers. We can sell on our own website. If we have a personal website or portfolio, we can sell these custom design services for infographics. Uh, let's say we can post on educational platforms because I know teachers would love to show some of these to their students. It's an easy way for students to learn. You can partner with bloggers and content creators. These people are looking for high quality infographics to complement their content. That's a good idea. We can print and sell these as posters. I know a lot of people like to hang these in their room. You could do this on something like Etsy or Redbubble. In social media, you can create a Pinterest account and you can start posting your content to get followers there. Uh, you could also make a whole Instagram page of infographics. I think that's a pretty good idea. Grow your following on Instagram. Content marketing. You can create articles on Medium and you can accompany them with art or sorry, you can accompany them with embedded infographics and then you can make money with the Medium, medium Partner Program. Uh, you can start a blog in a specific niche and expertise and then you can complement your articles with infographics. I like that. Affiliate marketing, you can design infographics that promote or explain certain affiliate products. Great idea. And then of course, courses and eBooks. If you have an online course, you can put those in between your video lessons and it helps your students stay engaged, switches up the flavor of your course. And, and if they're good enough, it can also help them learn whatever topic you're teaching. So those are a bunch of ideas to make money with this. But yeah, Dolly 3, making infographics. AI being able to generate words on images opens up a whole new ball game. You know, we gave the example of the ocean here. We went over and we did some climate change ones. Again, I love this one. This one's really good. We showed that it was nerf, that it can't generate specific people, but we got around that by going a specific date. And in that, it made something like a voting infographic, really like that. And then finally, we did something about American football in a different aspect ratio and showed that it can do that, though sometimes it cuts it off. So yeah, give it a shot and let me know what you guys can create with this Dolly 3 infographic. Peace.